Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I had to run some errands this morning and so um, I was on the west side of town, the far west side of town, and the art supply store is over there so I thought I would pop in um, and pick a couple things up. I have been meaning to get a new um, E35 marker. Um, this one is one of my old uh, chow markers and it's very much overdue for a new nib. And I thought instead of just replacing that marker since it's um, such a pain to refill it all the time since it's one of the colors I use most often. I thought I would just pick myself up a new one um, and not have to worry about just changing the nib at all and getting myself a nice brand new marker. So happy to have that added to my stash and I can just now toss that one that was in dire need of uh, some service. <laughs> I also picked up a couple new paint brushes. Um, they are snap uh, Princeton snap brushes. One of them is a number two round and the other one is a number four round. Let me see if I can get these in here. And uh, these are the um, paint brushes I've been using. At least the number two is the paintbrush I've been using lately on my watercolor cards. So I thought I'd pick up a number four and um, I just really like using these. They're really easy to use and uh, thought I would pick up another couple for my stash. Um, so that's that. Um, I also stopped at a couple to Joann's. One Joann's had nothing. I went in because the paper was on sale um, today and then there was an extra um, coupon on top of the sale prices and they didn't have anything. I thought I would go in and see if they had the garden party um, line from Maggie Holmes, but they had nothing. But it's a really dark, dark store and there's, I rarely find anything there that I'm looking for. Um, if you're in this area, it's the five mile store and I don't know, it's just a really dark depressing store. So um, I headed out to the one in the valley and actually found some of the things that I was looking for. Um, but I also stopped at the grocery store and I picked up this uh, little candle. It's a grapefruit scented candle from Trader Joe's and it smells really, really good. So I'm looking forward to uh, burning that. Um, also, I picked up some groceries while I was there at Trader Joe's too, um, but then headed off to Joann's. So I did pick up the ephemera pack from the Garden Party line. There's 40 pieces in it. There's um, 10 foil and vellum pieces and 30 um, cardstock pieces. So there's just lots of little tags and doodads and that fox is adorable. There's a really cute little vellum bird here and frame. Um... So I just thought this line looked really cute. I love the colors and some of the imagery is just right up my alley. Being garden themed and there's some chickens in it as well. So how can I go wrong? I think it was meant to be mine. And maybe you'll be able to hear the storm here. It is super windy. Um, I also picked up this little six by eight marigold um, paper pack and or paper pad and uh, so it's just got some cute images and colors in it as well. Um, this is one of my favorites, this cute little goose here. Little town. So really pretty paper. And I love this deer. That's just the cutest thing. So grab that. I also picked up the six by eight in the garden, pa um, garden party pad. And this one has um, some pages that aren't in the loose uh, paper that I was able to pick up. So, really cute. This one I thought was interesting how it's um, gold foiling on the, uh, it's like a twill. And I love this sheet back here, this one. So cute. There's some little critters in gold foil. And I love all the little greenhouses. Really, really cute. Some cute little tags and cut aparts. This is like my front yard. Got the chicken coop with the chickens, the fawns, the bunnies. <laughs> I love it. Really cute. And I really love this page too. Kind of old lady. I love it. <laughs> um. So, um, speaking of the garden party line, I did pick up some of the free um, open stock paper, the 12 by 12 paper. So I'll give you a look at the ones I picked up. Let's see. Um, so there's this line or this uh, sheet here on the back side. It has the, uh, 
little brown brown bows. I picked up two of all the sheets that I could find. So there's this really pretty um, geometric pattern on the back side is that really pretty rose. Here's a pink and white um, grid, kind of like a flannel grid. And on the back side of that is the pastry party. Adorable. Then there's this like pillow ticking fabric um, print. And then on the back side of it is that really pretty floral and those are pretty colors. Oops. Then there's this cute pink and white gingham. And then on the back side of that one is this gray watercolored rose, like a tone on cone, tone on tone. Then there's this crazy print here. And on the back side of that is this cute, um, the farm scene. So love that. Uh, this sheet here, the back side is the blue farm scene. Looks like I got three of those. I love the little chicken in the front yard. And this is a cute little sheet here too. Oh, it looks like I got three of these as well. Um, the other side of that one is the houses with the little arboretums. Or the greenhouses. Then there's this free polka dot and the great big floral print. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's the um, words page. And on the back side of that is this really cute little... Um, cottage garden print Then there's this really cute pink and white plaid it's the same color as my shirt and the back side of that one is that beautiful um, cottage rose love that and then this green one um, just a bunch of little greenery the back side of it is the um, realistic and um, nature print page so it's got like a little piece of old scotch tape in there. <laughs> it's really cute. So I like that. And then this last sheet here that I found, um, it's the pink geometric pattern. And then the back side is the black and white animal print. So cute. Love it. And that will be fun. I think I might make like a little junk journal type thing um, for the garden. Um, not sure. I just think that'd be really cute. So I grabbed those and then I also picked up uh, three 12 by 12s. Um, I don't think this one is new, so I'll just flip through it really quickly. Um, this is called Cotton Fields from Die Cuts with a View. So there is some glitter. Um, like that sheet has glitter on the little white flowers. Really cute. That's really cute. And I just like the colors. This sheet has glitter as well on the white flowers and the larger pink uh, peach flowers. Love all the little tags. I think I was just drawn to this one's colors today because it's really a blustery, stormy day. And I just thought the colors in this one just look really fresh and inviting. And I love this. That sheet is so pretty. So I grabbed that. And I'm tipping over one of my little trinket dishes here. I also picked up um this watercolor garden which i think i may actually have i need to check um but i thought i would grab another one so it's just really bright colors again i was just really drawn to it today i think because it's so stormy it was actually like snowing this morning <laughs> really that's probably enough already cute bees and i know you're looking at them sideways but again, I don't think this is a new paper pen. I love that. It's like a garden toss. Cute watercolor. And I love the prints in here that are like a batik. Um, see, like that's really cute. This one is like a batik also. So really fun. And then the last one I picked up today um, was this one. It's called Luna. And I do think this one is actually new. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It says 2020, so I'm not sure. But I really loved this one because all the images in here are like tea dyed and they have gold foiling um, and they're just really beautiful prints. Like nothing I don't, I don't, like nothing I have. So um, I thought this might be fun to make some masculine cards. I love this really dark navy um, with the uh, tea dyed font. Um, there's just really beautiful blues in here. Like look at that really beautiful coneflower blue and... 
There's some gold foiling. I love these. I mean, it's just such a neat, unique paper pad. So. Black stars. I love this page here. This, again, it looks like um, batik. I just think it's so pretty. And this one here has the tea dyed paper with the really dark, dark navy um, text. Love that. So, anyway, thought I would pick this one up since they were having a sale and it was there. Gorgeous, right? So pretty. And that's the last sheet. Yeah. And then I also picked up, since I was at the art supply store, I did pick up some more watercolor paper. Oh, here's this too. Um, I did pick this up at Joann's. And I think this um, garden party, this is the first one of these I've, I have had. I think this may have actually just released recently, but um, I think some of the imagery and the colors, of course, will work with a lot of other, her other lines. Um, but I just really love this little quail, um, the swan, of course, and the chicken. <laughs> There's a cute little bunny down here at the bottom and just really, really cute. And then I also picked up at the art supply store um, some watercolor paper. This is my tried and true watercolor paper that I use for my cards, like my floral cards that I've been making lately have been done on this. And it's a um, 140 pound cold press, 25% cotton watercolor paper from Italy. And then I saw that they had this um, version of it packaged. Um, it's also made in Italy. It's also Fabriano, um, 140 pound, 25% cotton. Um, and so I thought I would just see if there was any difference between uh, the two and uh, if I like one better than the other, basically. Um, but the biggest difference is the size. This one is nine by 12 and this one here is 11 by 14. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, I think since it's such a blustery day, I'm gonna make sure all the critters are fed. I'm gonna hop out um, take care of everyone. Then come back in, enjoy some hot tea. Um, I need to refresh my mug here. It's, uh, about empty. And I think I'm just gonna hunker down and spend the rest of the night maybe crafting and light the fireplace and, I don't know, just kind of have a relaxing evening. So I hope you have a great weekend and until we talk again, take care. Bye!